You kind of have rose-colored glasses on when I look back, and it's like, oh, yeah, I always knew it was going to work out. But to be honest, I mean, there were a good six months that I was, you know, talking to my husband every night, crying, thinking it wasn't going to work out. Because um, there's, there's a point where you really have to, when you're in school, you can kind of toy around and work as though it's going to happen. But then you have the safety net of if it doesn't happen, you graduate and get a real job. So being a student is a great time to start a company. It's totally de-risked for you. Um, but there is a point where you're coming upon graduation and, mm. and you have to decide really to jump in or not. Um, and I got a lot of positive signals from early supporters of Rock Health, um, including the Mayo Clinic, which was kind of our first partner. Um, but it really, um, there were probably a good six months where I didn't think I was able to pull it together. And you just have to kind of pretend like it's going to work out and fool everyone into following you um, yeah, across we, we your hear fingers. This yeah. over, you know, in this speaker series and all our other courses, we hear this notion of tenacity over and over again. Yeah. And that, that's still the case even in this generation of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. I remember in meeting you at that Harvard uh, Business School Advisory Council out here, you had just been flying, doing red eyes every week yeah. or something like that for yeah. months. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um, so that, that was grad school, though. Mm -hmm. So going back, you worked at Intel mm -hmm. and Apple, I mean, two technology giants. So yeah. those are, but they're big companies. Mm -hmm. um, what experiences or skills from working there are you using now? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, as, as, you know, as a yeah. CEO yourself. You know, I would say there's just this, like, learning how to work. It's just so different from school. Um, having to just do the same thing day in and day out and having a manager that you have to keep happy and understanding politics within a workplace. So there are those kind of soft skills that you don't, you don't learn in school at all. Um, you know, learning how to sell, I think that's a really, I actually never even learned that at Intel. I learned that when I worked at Nordstrom um, in college. But learning to sell is like one of the best skills you can have. Like it just pays so well as an entrepreneur, um, if you can sell, you're always selling. You're selling uh, new employees, you're selling investors, you're selling your customers. And uh, if you can learn how to understand customers and serve customers, um, and you can learn that at a low stakes job at Starbucks or in retail, um, I would suggest doing that because that was probably where I learned the most.